18 years ago, the final race was won and run at Longford in Tasmania. Longford is situated 18 kilometres outside of Launceston. It was a unique street circuit, 7.2 kilometres, and a very dangerous circuit, as some of the old timers remember. Frank Gardner is the JPS BMW team boss, and in those days, Frank, of course, was a cockpit man, and a man who liked to challenge. Your thoughts of the old circuit, Frank? thoughts of the old circuit were great really it was uh, looking back on it of course by today's standards it was quite dangerous but in those days you had the Jimmy Clarks, the Jackie Stewart's, the Brucey McLaren's, the, the the greats of that era it was uh, the cars had no wings no aerodynamic devices we geared them for about 186 mile an hour down the main straight and they were very good those sort of five speed gearbox I think the final gear was hang on Lord I'm coming but there was a few uh, there was a few bridges tossed in and the last race here that we raced in was in torrential rain with zero visibility and there's nothing like sliding across a wooden bridge with a bend in it in the rain on very narrow tires and and hoping to goodness that you're pointing in the right direction because the waterfall and the river didn't really separate itself too much in those days did you think of the danger though not really it seemed like a good idea at the time it was uh, there was all the sort of elements for a high-speed accident. There was, uh, there was absolutely, and the overalls we were wearing in those days, it's only recently that crash helmets have tidied themselves up, flame-proof suits have got to the stage. Any accident at a place like this had to be a big one because the speeds were so high. Do you miss those days? I think I would have missed them had I been at that age now, but in hindsight, looking back, one likes to think that you've gained some form of maturity, can look back in or to think that we were absolutely here dodging sheep and uh, I think at one stage I won a race down here and it's the first time in my life I've ever been helped out by the railways department. I think the 115 train was 15 minutes early. They stopped the race while I was in the lead, thank you Lord. Were you pleased that the circuit closed? Well you're always nostalgic about these things but circuits progress, cars had become too quick. Uh, spectator safety is of paramount. They used to get enormous crowds here. The cars are airborne in about three places around the circuit and it was a case of how you really touched down and uh, wet weather racing you could run into virtually a lagoon down the main straight and the cars weren't designed to float nor were they designed to stay on the road at those speeds. So somebody had to get hurt and if thee and me walk down the street it's either it's going to get hurt so in those days it seemed to be that way everybody else was going to slip off the highway but me well wild days for very little pay for the open wheeler competitors in the late 60s the final race at longford being in 68 and the spectators used to assemble around the country club hotel here they had plenty of time to buy a round or two as the car sped past on the 7.2 kilometer course and of course as the sign says Jimmy's waiting inside, and I think I might join Frank and Jim inside for a spot of bogues.